Yeah. We back in the house like we never left. Yeah, you know I mean. Judah been in the spot. Word him up. And you the bang. Yeah. Shout out to East St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah. Too many dumb guys get attention. You need intelligence and comprehension. You need to stop looking, listen. Your song's not the best worded. I felt disgusted when I heard it. You can't fool me, I'm too observant. Plus, you're not a general coward, you still a servant. Your rhymes fool gazy, you not dope, you crazy. I see the Lord took his time when he made me the pound, turn you clowns to ghosts like Patrick Swayze. A couple major record labels tried to sign me, cause I got rhymes, speed, fag, and stand behind me. Bunch of cowards on Twitter talking nonsense, acting like they tough, but them cowards ain't violent. When you rhyme, I hear the music with the violin. Son, you a sap story. All you cats rap corny. My style is exquisite. In other words, I'm delicate. Son, I'm intelligent. You suckers is irrelevant. In your lyrics, all you do is add embellishment. My rhyme's eloquent. You a waste like excrement. That's manure. In other words, you shitty. Your crew a foul union. A bunch of bowel movements. Ugh. Yeah, yo. East St. Louis in the house. Cold rocking it. Not stopping it. Judah Ben. Shout out to my daughter. With your badass. Yeah. Some back in the building. Judah Ben, tell a friend, tell a friend. You feel me, G? But yo, um, I just want to get on here and um, uh, you know, what I mean, come back again for a third time. You know, it's a lot of misconceptions, capusations going on. You feel me? So um, uh, just want to give my intake and my input. We're going to spin the block again. Because, yo, I got to keep calling out this. It's a lot of fugaziness. You feel me? And a lot of. It's a lot of cap. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a lot of cap. Bill Haney with his cap Uh I'm looking for another audio clip. Uh, once I find it, you know what I mean? We're going to be. We're going to be good. But, uh, I mean, if I don't find it, it's all right. It'll just be another video for another day. But um, this is uh, 
Bill Haney Cat Part Three, the trilogy. You feeling me? <laughs> I just want to talk about this real quick, real swift. You know what I mean? Because it's a lot of <clears throat> it's a lot of full gaziness. You know what I mean? And a lot of Jedi mind tricks being played. And you know what? Is it yo? Shout out to Ohio Runs Boxing. Ohio Runs Boxing. Yo, what up, champ? Now I see why you posted that whole clip of the Jedi with Bill Haney being a Jedi. Because <laughs> Bill Haney, Bill Haney does a lot of Jedi mind tricks. And he got a lot of y'all cats fooled. You know what I mean? It ain't no slight to Bill Haney or Devin Haney. You know, I, I F's with the Haney's. You know what I mean? It's never nothing personal with your man Judah. Never nothing personal. But we got to talk about the facts. And the fact is, is, you know what I mean? You got Bill Haney talking. Where's the crack? <laughs> Where did his son get cracked? And I'm like, really, Bill, really, really, Bill, this how we doing it. But you know what? I'm not going, you know what I mean, put my own words to it. I'm going to let your man say it for himself. Check out my man, Bill. Listen to what, what, listen to what my man, Bill Haney, had to say. Where's the crack at? Yeah. You know, they said something about some crack. And uh, they said, I think they did, uh, Javante did it. We just slowed it down. Um, I don't see no crack. I don't mess with no crack. We ain't never got cracked. You know what I mean? And yeah. Yeah, where's the crack at? Huh? Now, I know some of y'all who ain't heard the story. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all probably thinking, like, what the hell is Bill Haney talking about? Like, I understand. I get it. But what Bill Haney is referring to is the infamous spawn footage we got last week when Ryan Garcia released the footage of Devin Haney versus Javante Davis sparring at the infamous TMT gym, Doghouse Rules. Whoever quit, that's it. You don't get paid. You don't get the bread. It's all on the line, you know what I mean? So, Bill Haney had the audacity to say that it was a it was an interview Tank Davis was on. I believe it was last year when he was on the Ross podcast. Shout out to the Ross podcast. Uh, shout out to Senior. Shout out to Coach Squeeze, Smoothie King. Shout out to Coach Ellis. My dog, Coach Ellis, shout out to Coach Calvin Ford. Bill Ford Tough. Yo, we in the spot, son. Never slacking. Baltimore in the house. You know what I mean? But Tank was on Ross podcast. And my man Blue Blood was up there. He was talking to Tank. And Tank was getting irritated. And you know what I mean? That's when he had to let it be known that he sparred both Shakur and Devin. And he said he cracked both of them. He said he cracked both of them, you know what I mean, in the ring. Adrian Broner spoke on this situation, you know what I mean, at least a dozen times. I know he's tired of talking about it, but he spoke on it a dozen times. He's been on many platforms revealing what happened. You know what I mean? AB even said, you know, he cracked uh, Devin, Tank cracked Devin. And we all seen it, you feel me? To the point where AB had to jump in the ring and put a put a pause to the sparring session just for a second because Devin was taking too much punishment at the time at a young age. You feel me? And a lot of that trauma, a lot of them blows can be deadly. You know what I mean? And it could be a little bit too much for a young brain. You know what I mean? Devin was only 16 going on 17 at the time. Tang Davis was only 19 or 20. You feel me? So, um, but Blue Blood was on uh, Rob's podcast and they was talking to Tank. He was interviewing Tank for a second. 
And Tank had to let he had to let it be known that yo, he sparred Shakur and Devin and he cracked both of them. Bill Haney, on the other end, when the sparring footage was released, which I myself, I thought Bill himself had the footage that him and Devin was talking about. They was talking like they 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 had the footage, you know what I mean? And I could have swore up and down. It was one-sided on the Haney's behalf. But when the footage was released and it was known that no other person had the footage besides Floyd, Money, Mayweather, shout out to Floyd, shout out to TMT. When it was known that Floyd only had the footage, you know what I mean? He gave it to Ryan. He let Ryan hold it. And he let Ryan put it out to the world. So Bill Haney is saying, out of that whole a minute and 40 seconds sparring footage, that Devin Haney never got cracked. You know what I mean? He never got touched. He never got hit up. And Bill, I got to call Cap. Cap on the play. And I got to throw my flag on the field. <laughs> All these cap accusations coming from Bill. And I mean, I understand it's, it's, it comes a point and a time where you have to defend yours, you have to defend you and yours, but at some point, you got to be real in what you're talking about at the same time. And it's a difference between defending your son and just all out capping. And it is what it is. That's, that's all it is from Bill, which is all capping. Bill, Devin Haney got cracked from the beginning of the video to the end. <laughs> Tang beat his ass all over the ring. But Bill Haney got more to say, so I'm going I'm to just continue to let Bill, you know, give his intake on what he think happened with the, with the, with the sparring. Take it away, Bill. I think he said, I, 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 I cracked him. And then uh, AB said, his eyes wobbled into the back of his head and I got in and I know they mentioned some crack. Does AB on crack before Sean Porter or did Javon take it off the plane and he had some crack for sale? <laughs> now you see how they try to flip the narrative? Okay, now Bill, keep it boxing, champ. Keep it boxing. Okay? Don't try to flip the narrative and try to say, you know, these these brothers is crackheads. A B is a crackhead, you know, Tank is out here selling crack. And if you want to be technical, you might as well call Tank Davis. Um don't call him Frank Lucas. Don't call him Bumpy Johnson. You know what I mean? Don't call him um uh, don't call him none of that. Uh what's my guy from Baltimore? Who was the uh who was the drug dealer in the eighties? I forget my man's name. Hopefully it'll come to me. <laughs> but yo, Bill, stop capping, son. Don't try to flip the narrative. Don't try to change the subject. You know what I mean? AB's not on, Adrian Broner's not on crack. We all know Tank ain't out here selling no crack. But he was selling crack in that ring that night. You know what I mean? He was, he, he had kilos for, Half the price. <laughs> he had kilos for 10, 10 grand. <laughs> oh man. Tank and he 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 done if 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 Tank had crack for sale, he gave Devin Haney about 20, he gave Devin Haney about 22 half ounce. <laughs> he gave my man. Devin Haney, 22 half ounces. <laughs> he hit that man with 22 unanswered shots. And that's what I'm saying, son. Like, it's crazy how everything is cool when it's, when it's Devin out here doing the antagonizing. Everything is fine. Everything is all dandy. But when the situation is flipped and it's y'all who are made to be the butt of the joke, it's not funny. But I'm going to let you keep talking, Bill. Uh, I don't know, but he 
they said he did some crack. I don't see no crack on the joint. Now, somebody that watched the joint in slow mo, tell me where's the crack at? I'm waiting. Bill, like I just told you, <laughs> the crack was all over the ring. It was crack being dished out from the beginning of the video to the end. The whole minute and 40 second clip, Tank was giving out crack to the whole community. <laughs> oh shit. Tank was dishing out them, he was dishing out them bags. Tank was giving, he was dishing out blue magic. <laughs> he had blue magic in them gloves. You feel me? So we got to stop the cap, son. And we are, oh, man, I'm not, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a save the video when he was on um, Cam and Mace joint. It is what it is. That's, that's going to be another topic for another day. But we might address some of the, some of the, 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 the issues on that, on that interview as well. But Bill, I'm going I'm to be quiet. I'm going to let you give your intake. You know what I mean? Do what you got to do, son. defense tank was beating his ass Devin Haney he had poor footwork his guard was down he wasn't guarding his face as he should have poor punch placement the shots that Devin was hitting tank with tank came right back with a counter boom yeah I mean crazy accuracy from tank I mean, come on, son. Ability to go in the doghouse and work. Zero. Big shot. I want to know. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not even on no big shots because that, that might be in another city. It's right. Because I can count a million big shots Tank hit his ass with. When Tank was leaned on the ropes, Dev had Dev had Tank on the ropes. When Tank was on the ropes, he was, he was weaving shots off the ropes, and Tank hit him with that nasty uppercut. Bow, knock him back. You feel me? When, when the very beginning of the sparring footage, when it started off, what did we, what did we see? A straight left, and Deb head went straight back. <laughs> the video started off with a crack. You know what I mean? The, the, the video started off with a dime bag. <laughs> but Bill, I'm gonna let you keep going, G. Where is the crack at? Where is the crack at? Because he said the crack. Where's the crack at? Does somebody know where the crack is at? I definitely, definitely know where the crack is at. <laughs> I definitely know where the crack was at. 22 unanswered punches. Yeah, you know I mean, Tank hit this man with about six or seven straight left hands, all to the face. He was eating that body up. Yeah, you know I mean, at free will. And like I kept saying in my previous videos, this was an out of shape Tank. He was tipsy. He was on vacation. And he was in that bitch just having fun. He was having fun with this man. But need I say more? I'm just asking. <laughs> you tell me in the beginning of the round or the end of the round, it was right in the middle. 
I mean, give it to me. Was it a? And you see how? Notice how? See, Bill Haney think he's slick. You see how he's 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 subtly he's sneakfully telling you the parts of the video where he know for a fact his son got cracked. What did I, what did I just say a second ago? In the very beginning of the spawn footage, it started off with a crack, and then here he comes. When when did the crack come? Was it in the beginning of the video, the middle of the video? You know exactly where it was at, Bill. <laughs> See, like you can't fool me, Bill. You can't fool nobody but your goofy ass fan base and these casuals. You're not gonna fool an actual boxing observer. See, I don't just watch boxing. I observe everything. I observe the fighters in their everyday life. I observe them in the ring. Because you must do both. You can't just look at them in the ring and observe them that way. You got to study a fighter in his everyday life, him as an all-around person overall. You can't just go off his performances in the ring. Because... What a, what, a, what a lot of cats don't know, what goes on outside of the ring affects the fighter inside of the ring. But take it away, Bill. Uppercut, was it, was it, uh, where was the crack at? Now you hear him again. He said, was it the uppercut? See, Bill, he know, Bill Haney knows exactly <laughs> what the hell he is doing. Bill knows exactly what he's doing. He knows what he's saying. He know what he's seen, and he trying to fool you cats. Like I said, he got the casuals and a lot of you cats that I truly believe that he got y'all on payroll. He know exactly who, to, who he know exactly who to talk that is to. The cats who he got on payroll. And a lot of cats who really don't know nothing about boxing, like Cam and Mace. That's why he chose a platform like it is what it is, because they're not everyday watchers of the sport. That made AB jump inside the ring. Or did he jump in the ring on crack? Did he have some crack? <laughs> you know what I mean? Was the move a little crack-ish? <laughs> you know what I'm No, we don't. I want to know. While we get ready for all the smoke on 420, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia for all the marble and the smoke. And I'm not talking about the crack that uh, Team Tank was talking about. Okay, okay, there's somebody that said a body shot. I don't know. Is a body shot considered a crack? All right. Yes, it is. <laughs> See, son, like these, I just mentioned everything that he's talking about. I just mentioned it. I said, I said Tank hit this man with about six or seven straight lefts. He, he was going to the body crazy. You feel me? It was nothing Dev can do. And a lot of people, this, 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 and this is Devin Haney fans' favorite argument. Devin Haney was only 16. But you knew what you was up against. You knew what the stakes were. You knew what time it was. I'm not taking no excuses. If Tank was young, Deb was young. If Deb was 16, Tank was only 19 or 20. Both these niggas was considered babies. <laughs> they both started boxing around the same age. Devin Haney started boxing six or seven. Tank been boxing about six or seven years old as well. You feel me? Like, it ain't nothing new. It's nothing new. Devin knew exactly what was involved. And this is why I this this is why you gotta respect Adrian Broner. Because had he not stepped in the ring and paused the fight for a little bit, it would have got ugly. 
Bubba Sparks boy, it would have got ugly. <laughs> it would have got ugly, son. Sam Cassell. <laughs> And yo, Bill, the fact that you slowed the, the footage down, it made it look 10 times worse on your behalf. When you slowed the footage down, all you did was you showed everybody exactly how much worse the beating was. Because it was a lot of punches I didn't see, you know what I mean, in, in, in regular motion. But when you slowed it down, it was I seen more damage. <laughs> it was more damage. And this is why, like, y'all cats got to learn how to discern facts from being personal. You can tell Bill Haney is getting personal. Bill Haney is upset. He's pissed that Floyd put this footage out, but you begged this man to do it. And then you still talking crazy, saying how Devin Haney, six old Floyd, he made he dropped Floyd. Floyd rolled out the ring like some some damn nonsense. It's pure nonsense. And this is why Floyd did what he did. Bill, you talk too damn much. You talk too damn much. Not move on. Let's. I had a great day yesterday. But you know what I mean? When you got magicians just working on your mind. <laughs> it's called pissing on your head and telling you that it's raining. And, and I, that, was, that was the corniest shit. I don't even know what was funny about what he just said. But see, this is why Bill Haney, they roll with too many yes men. They roll with too many damn yes men. Bunch of Bum, goofy niggas who just agree with whatever they say because he said it. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if Bill be, be prepping these cats before they even go live. Look, when I say this, this is what you're going to laugh at. When I say this, I'm going to hit the applause button and this is what y'all going to, you know what I mean? Y'all going to start laughing and applauding. I wouldn't be surprised if they did some silly shit like that. You feel me? Like... <laughs> This shit is comedy. You got, yeah, you have magicians and you have some great promotion. And, you know. And yo, Bill sitting up here talking about magicians. What was I just saying barely 10 minutes ago? What was I just saying? He's saying you got magicians doing all this goofy shit. But, Bill, who's the one really pulling the wool over people's eyes? The Jedi mind trick. That's a magician. <laughs> Come on, son. Like, you can't be serious. Bill, you can't be serious. But like I said, yo, I F with Bill Haney. I F with Devin. And it's necessarily not aimed at Devin. Because like I said in one of my previous videos, you can't really fault Devin. Bill is the one doing all the talking. Bill is doing all the promotion. He's doing all the marketing, all the talking. So we got to point the finger at you, Bill. Buffalo Bill. My hair ain't nappy. It's, it's, uh, it's my hair. And see, this is how I know for a fact. Team Garcia is living rent-free. In this nigga's head. <laughs> because, man, look, Team Garcia got Bill and Devin Haney annoyed. And they even admitted that, Bill even admitted that on the Cam and Mace show, it is what it is. 
And like I said, we that's that's my I might I might do that I might do that live tomorrow. I might do that do that segment tomorrow, because Bill admitted that he was annoyed with Ryan Garcia's antics. And when anybody got you annoyed, they got you off your square. And when they got you off your square, it's easy to pick you off. I said, where was the crack at? I don't want, I don't want eight ounces. I don't want eight ounces. I just want to know where it's at first. But we start. Oh, trust me. We know, we know for a clean fact, you don't want those eight ounces. We know for a fact, you don't want those eight ounces. Now, Tank was already dishing out crack in those 16 ounces. He was dishing out 16 ounce, you know what I mean? 16 ounce grams. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the eight ounce grams. The eight ounce grams that f you up more than the sixteen ounce gram. You feel me? You don't want those. You don't want those eight ounce baggies. <laughs> you don't want that, G. Tank was giving out that Nino Brown. He was giving out that Nino Brown. Talking about it was eight ounces and it could be on a night, but he said I cracked them and it would have been night night with what shot? Come on with it now. Don't run for me. Hey. You mean the way Devin ran the whole minute and forty? <laughs> Bill telling he, he telling the cats in the comment section don't run from him, but you mean the way Devin Haney ran from Tank in that whole in that whole ordeal, in that whole minute and forty seconds. Dev was on his bicycle. He was on a tricycle. He was trying his damnness to get away from Tank. Like I said, son, Dev looked like a wounded gazelle after getting mauled by a cheetah. <laughs> Cause Tank was on his, it was nowhere this man could go. But I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna let Bill wrap it up. Where y'all at? That was real loud 24 hours ago. I didn't slow his highlight film down for you. Yeah. <laughs> and that concludes the Bill Haney interview. But Bill, you made it worse when you slowed down the footage, champ. You just made it that much worse. You actually showed everybody just how bad the beating was with the slow motion. You feel me? So, yo, that's all I got. I just wanted to dissect this clip of Bill Haney capping. This is Bill Haney cap part three. The trilogy, you feeling me? And we out of here. Shout out to all my brothers and sisters dropping out that crazy, dope boxing content. Shout out to my daughter with her bad ass. And we out.